For the Reds in 2024, it's going to be a year where great power comes with great rewards. So you're born with the red in your astrology sign. 2024 will be one of those years where if you really, really put in the effort, the rewards are super fantastic. Now let us explore what are the good stars that are inside the signs of the red for 2024. The first one, one of my favorites, the golden lock, aka golden chest, aka cabinet full of gold. Now, so this basically means, if you just read all the astrology books, it says, oh, it is a, um, a wealth star, you get more money. But hey, you can't just read one star and expect you know, good things to happen to you. You have to understand that what causes the positive effect of this star to actually take place in the first place, okay? So this is a reward for efforts. Okay, it's a reward for a campaign. Back in ancient days, this is the star that represents uh, where the emperor sends the general out and then he goes and fights the war, he beats the shit out of the enemies, then he comes back and the emperor says, aha, good job. Here are land and here's gold and stuff. Okay, so, but the trick here is that person needs to assume the role of the leader the general in the war, the campaign, okay? He, he or she has to go and lead that campaign and win. That's the part that people often, you know, don't read about, okay? So here's the thing. Along with the, the golden lock, also comes the general star, okay? The general basically means this is like the warlock. So in this particular scenario, if you have to rant in your astrology chart, that means you have to step up to that role. Now, I know a lot of people think, yeah, but I ain't given that role, so how am I going to do it? The thing is this, there are politics. Anytime the position of high-ranking, you know, general is available or maybe not available, it is up to that person to actually plot and desire and plan, and maybe I don't like to use the word, but scheme your way to getting to number one, okay? So there must be certain desire and efforts and, and, and um, taking responsibility of saying, I volunteer for that role, okay? And I want that role. You gotta engineer your way to getting that power. Now, if you try in 2024, it's the chances of you getting it will be very, very high because you have these stars with you. And the chances of success is also very, very high, okay? So unlike other years, where you try, maybe one or two times, the energy, the force is not with you. But this year, the force is with you. Now, it doesn't mean on your first try, you will win, but on subsequent tries, as you get smarter, as you plan out your strategies better, you will be able to achieve that position. So being in this particular position allows you to showcase your talent and your ability. Okay, now as the top man or the top woman in that role, you will be able to recruit people. So it is extremely important that you articulate your vision very clearly. Because otherwise you'll be fighting a lonely battle. You're the only one going to war, right? You're taking on a new position and you're the only person there. You will not get rich, you get tired. So that's the problem, okay? So how do you actually recruit people? Well, being in the position of these powerful stars, the, what you need to do is to first articulate what vision do you have for that new role? What position do you want to take the entire organization or department to? Now, if the small voice inside your brain will say, ah, you know, but people don't listen to me, that's when you need to learn to speak up in a way that is convincing. If your vision is clear, you are resolute in your decision, people will resonate. The right people will resonate. So this is the part where a lot of people can't get through. So they think, ah, oh, you know, so much pressure this year. You know, you put the reward there, but I will never be able to achieve it, you know, because of uh, uh, the opportunity is never given to me. Listen, it's not going to be given to you easy. Winning wars requires shitloads of effort and coordination and smartness, all right? So if you're one of those that are not prepared, you expect things to happen just in everything in your favor, that will be a little bit difficult in the year, okay? Because these two are pretty much tough stars, all right? Now, there's one that I pretty like. It's called the Taiji Nobleman. Now, Taiji Nobleman for metaphysics practitioners in particular. 
for all of us in, uh, in feng shui, in astrology, in qi men, in yi jing, and some of you might be in tarot, um, any form of metaphysics practice, tai chi nobleman is the star that you look for. So this here basically indicates that you're more connected to this art, you get to become better at what you do, you get to influence more people, impact more people, and obviously expand your practice and basically do much better than before because the Tai Chi no movement is the star that connects you with the divine. Okay, so if you're into that, you want to acquire a new skill like Feng Shui, Pazi or Qi this will be the best year to do so. Okay, now, when there's positive, there's also some negative, right? So let's look at the so-called negative stars, okay? This one you have White Tiger. Now, it's not alarming to find White Tiger along with the General for the year because usually if the General, the Warlord goes out for the war, well, a few cuts and bruises here is quite normal. So this star indicates back in those days, um, injuries, okay? So of course, a lot of people just take word for word, oh, this star means injuries, you're gonna get hospitalized. Not exactly so, okay? The White Tiger also indicates excessive energy. So if you channel this energy into your work, if you use this energy into producing or, or, or fixing a, a, a project or working on something that is important for you, you will be able to succeed because White Tiger means excessive energy, okay? Now the Peeling Head Star on the other hand, well, this one back in the ancient days, um, especially when it appears on a water sign, it does indicate um, Philopathy, it means like uh, rituals such as funerals or you know illness and, and stuff. So, but today it doesn't actually mean that. It basically means back in the days they are not recommended to go to all this, you know, um, where people are sick and all that. It's only because well they don't know stuff like virus and bacteria, right? So the immune system not so good, they fall sick. So in this case here, what it means in 2024 is you need to take care of your immune system. You gotta make sure your overall health is good in order to fight those battles, all right? Now, let's look at some other stars that are not so common when it comes to astrology. Now, we call this the spiritual energies and you have the spiritual energy of the scholar, right? The divine energies of the scholar in 2024. So what does that mean? Well, in 2024, you'll find that this particular, you're very, somehow attracted to new knowledge, information, new how-tos. You want to learn new things and you find that it's actually very easy to learn new things. Now, so it's important to actually use this energy. So if you make just a small effort to learn, you'll find that your ability to acquire new skill sets will dramatically improve in 2024. So think about it this way, right? Whatever you want in life, whatever you want to achieve, you're just maybe one or two knowledge away. So with the scholar star, since you have heightened ability to acquire knowledge and learning new stuff, don't just use it to write poems. Well, use this to actually learn some skill sets that is actually helpful to your work or your relationship or your health. Now, you, you may think, huh, relationship also I need to learn? Yes, it doesn't just happen. Good relationship doesn't just happen to you. You have to learn how to be a good husband or good boyfriend or good wife or good girlfriend to somebody, okay? how to actually connect better, how to articulate better, how to actually influence the other person better, how to actually bring more happiness into the relationship, how to have a more fulfilling relationship requires knowledge, okay? So it's a skill. It doesn't just happen naturally. Well, for some people it does, majority it doesn't, okay? So guess what? You have the star here, so use the energy, okay? When it says the spiritual energy means somehow there's a spiritual connection, you find the certain things you, you, you learn, when you see, it seems that you already know it without even fully finishing the book. So that's one of the good things that is going to happen for the rat in 2024. Now, did you know that you might not just be born in the year of the rat, you actually have the possibility of being born in the rat month, rat day, and rat hour. Check this out. So in a full astrology, you have a year, the month, the day, or the hour of your astrology chart of birth. So you might be born in the month of, let's say, the snake or day of the dog and hour of the horse, okay? Depending on your full date and time of birth. Now to get your chart, go to the link that you see in front of your screen right now and plot your full Chinese astrology chart to be able to see your year, month, day, hour of birth and also what luck cycle you're going through right now. That will give you a complete picture of what to expect and what you can use in the year of 2024. But let me just give you a, 
a simple guide right now. Now, whatever I described earlier on um, applies mainly to the red in general, but if you have red in the year, you'll find that a lot of your friends, this is a competitive year if you're born in the red year because red in the year, year pillar, represents network, competitors and friends. So which means many of them have, are going to fight for position of power this year. A lot of them might be winning the, the rewards for the year if you don't take proactive action. So if you're going to there like, ah, you know, I'm just waiting for it to come, you're probably not going to win that, that trophy, all right? So you got to be the first. Since you hear about it first, you should take action first. Now, especially if red is in the month, that means you're born somewhere around this December date in the, in the year. So you're, that means you're born in the month of the red. Born in the month of the red, that means your position this year is most likely there will be an opening, an opportunity. Sometimes the opportunity is disguised as a problem in your organization. So you see the problem, don't run away. Remember, you are the general this year. You see the problem, you step up and you take care of it, okay? When you do that enough, the rewards will come, okay? So it's not the other way around. Not the, it's not gonna be given to you, serve on a silver platter, all right? You gotta take note of that. So if it's on the day and you have the red, now this actually can mean a few things. Number one, uh, your spouse is doing very well. Now, some people like, I don't have a boyfriend, girlfriend or a spouse. What does it mean? It means then this doesn't apply to you, all right? But if you do, right, and you have a relationship going, that means your spouse is doing well, be rejoiceful, right? Be happy for that person. And also another indication, because of the Tai Chi nobleman, that means this year you might be going through a spiritual growth, all right? That means because this represents, the day represents your personal growth. Now, if it is the hour of birth, this actually indicates that in 2023, there could be some periods of time where you see problems in the market, there, therein lies the opportunities for investments because the hour pillar actually represents investment opportunities. And since it's white tiger in there, because the red has white tiger, that means it's gonna be flash. It's going to be quite fast. So you gotta pay attention to what is available at that time, okay? Now, if you want to know more about all the animal signs, not just the red, go and download the Triver's Guide this year. I've written extensively, in fact, a lot of graphics and pictures and, and important information in this one book and it's for free. You can download right here for this link on your screen or on the comment section right now. And while you're at it, join Tribe Plus, our monthly subscription to give you monthly details and updates about your astrology chart. And one more thing, guys, if you have not already done so, remember to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. On behalf of Team Joey Yang, we wish you a happy and prosperous Chinese New Year.